Hey guys, welcome to SketchUp live stream. Ugh. It's the Why best name we got and it still sucks. That a different name. Yeah, we gotta focus on that <laughs> like at the right end. Right now, we'll talk. We'll talk about it now, and then next Friday or yeah, whatever, some future Friday. Ugh. Let me make a note to forget to think about this between now and next time we do this. I don't think you need to make a note. You're already really good at that. I, I do. I don't want to brag, but I forget stuff like nobody else. I actually did know somebody who okay, used to forget you. that well, but I don't remember his name. <laughs> What's that again? <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome, anyhow. How's it going out there? Welcome back, Andrew from Dorset, Zimbabwe. All right. Now, nice. Africa. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I know. Christopher, I appreciate you making time and room for us in your schedule despite the marble races going on. So thank you very much. It means a lot. It means something. Oh, yeah. I might yeah. also have to drop out whenever the marble races stop, too. Just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Hello, Puerto Rico. All right. Welcome, guys. Uh, if we haven't met, my name is Aaron. With me yeah. in all his audio capabilities is that fair oh, was <laughs> the voice of jody gates <laughs> hey that's, that's my voice so I welcome guys that it's part of who i am that's right he's more than just a voice just not to you so we're back we're gonna model some stuff if you have not been here before the thing we like to do here is pick a thing and model it live yeah, that's, that's sort of the whole summary. Um, I did want to clear up one misconception just because I've had a couple comments on this. If you're coming in right now, if you're listening to this and what you're looking for is structured learning, step-by-step -step explanation of how to model things, you should probably, yeah, I didn't want to say it that way, but. <laughs> you, you should reevaluate what your expectations are from this event. We do have some very good structured learning. We have our SketchUp Campus. We have a series of videos called Skill Builders. We have some intro videos, so they are out there. This right here is really meant more to be an exploration of using SketchUp for design and an opportunity for us to hang out at the end of a long week. So I just didn't want to have anybody have misconceptions about what this time is meant for. Um, of course, anybody's welcome to hang out with us and enjoy the stream and have fun. But uh, I just didn't want anybody to think that like they were going to get a step-by-step -step class on how to model the Taj Mahal because I don't know how to do it yet. But that's what we're going to figure yeah. out together. It's probably all worth, also worth mentioning, although this is going to happen throughout the rest of it, coming in and telling us to model a different thing is not going to happen. It, uh, effectively, that request will be ignored because we're already committed to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Super fair. <laughs> This, this is the thing we will be modeling. But if you do come up with ideas, we do our best to capture those and use them later on. Why, just last week, we modeled something based on popular request. Yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> what, do we, what do we model last week? Oh, wait, no, we didn't model anything last week. We just copied and pasted a bunch of stuff. Holy cow. I, those people, who I, I mean, Joey and I thought it was going to be an awesome, fun model. I had no idea that we were going to have 28 components copied 300 times. So, yeah. So, so you, you watched what they do, or what, what's that, uh, that mockumentary about the vampires? Oh, what, the, what We Do in the Shadows? What We Do in the Shadows. You watched that, right? Mm-hmm. So, so the show's got this guy in there who's an ener energy vampire? Mm-hmm. And so he basically just drains it, and everybody's just like, "Uh, they want to go to sleep afterwards." Colin Robinson. That was me <laughs> last Friday afternoon. Oh, I, uh, if you joined us, thank you for coming back. If it was your first time last week, I apologize. This is way more better. Um, but yeah, with that, we should probably okay. stop talking and get into it because yeah. who wants to sit here and just listen to this? Me. Okay, so I we have created. A topic on our forum uh, it is linked to wherever you're watching this the description has a link and I'm sure Jody can share a link as well so in this we do all the comments that came in beforehand are up there plus a couple of images that I'm going to work off of to create this model so uh, yeah you can check that out um, let's see 
What else? So the images, so here's the two images. I got this one very big high resolution image of a photograph that's like pretty well straight on. So there is obviously there's some warping of it because of the distance and the size of it, but it gets us a real clear image of the front geometry. And the Taj Mahal is a four sided building that is exactly the same on all four sides, which I'm like, Sweet. <laughs> That's perfect. That's my kind of model. I That's right. Do one fourth of the work. One quarter of the work. So, uh, but it is a cool opportunity, all joking aside. It's kind of a fun opportunity to go in, and that way we can uh, take advantage of components because we'll model one quarter of the side and then we'll just spin it around four times. So, that'll be cool. Now, we'll go ahead and put some. Um, what I didn't get, because I don't know how far we're going to get, but I'm going to lean on you guys a little bit for this, is I do have, so here's the general layout of it. Um, I guess I should get a dimension at some point, but you know how I'm about dimensions. Dimensions are for finishing, not for starting. Um, <laughs> but depending on how quick we get the general forms in, uh, we'll, we'll set how much time we can spend on details. Because one of the most amazing things about the Taj Mahal, one of the reasons I, I haven't jumped into it more uh, or, or sooner than this, is because if you look in here, just the stonework on this thing is amazing. It's, it's just incredible, the amount of detail on every inch of that face, because from far away, it just looks like this big, you know, you can see a little gray in there, a little bit of detailing, but there's a ton of detail. I don't think we'll put all of it in, but maybe we'll start with like the bigger pieces and start working our way down. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So th this thing's like really old, like 150 years old. And I wanna know, I mean, is somebody out there like power washing this thing every other weekend or how is it still so white? And I don't know but I do not have a power washer that could reach the top of it. <laughs> well, they probably have to use a, cr a crane. Yeah, because this is a people height, so this is many people's tall. This is going to be interesting to see how you get started with this since this is the only actual reference image you put up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is, this is actually a pretty high-resolution image, too, so I think we can get some detail out of here. But, yeah, I don't know. You know, don't want to want to spoil it all by thinking ahead of time. So uh, yeah, think. let's 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 hop in here. Let's let's do this thing. All right, uh, let's see SketchUp. That's the stuff we want to use. All right, I'm gonna start. Um, there's a couple different ways we can do this. I think what I want to do can some. All right, here's my first request of you guys. Can somebody find me? The width of the main building like how wide is the the main portion of the to the tomb it's all tomb right is it one big tomb how wide is that main piece of the Taj Mahal because what I want to do is I want to import this image right here and then I want to scale this based on this line right here So if that's the width of the main building, I can scale this to the right size, and then we'll have just a ballpark of, of what we're trying to you know, draw up. Um, the other thing, so as, hopefully someone's looking that up for me, because the other thing we wanna do here is draw a line like that, put a line across here, so I'm getting the the centers of those front archways is this is the amount we actually have to model, one quarter. So I could do this, well, I guess I could do that or I could model that. Because that way I could model this arch as one piece. I think I'll do that. I think I'll model one corner and the one face and then we'll just take that piece and rotate it around. They are, it's 56.9 meters. Sweet, that's all I needed. All right. So I'm gonna grab my tape measure. Going to click from one end to the other. Type in 56.9 M. Do you want to size the whole model? Yes. <laughs> For, for just half a second there, I was like, oh no, error message. 
It's it's that kind of week, you guys. All right. I'm not worried about error messages now. We're good. Um, all right. So let's take a look here. So this here, this is 90 degrees. I saw my little my little indicators came up, so that was cool. Uh, let's see right here. We go from like there. I lost my internet for a second. Do you still? Can you still see my screen? I can still see your screen. Okay. Let's see a little, little pretty pink lines. Did you have you did you read chat to see what anybody's uh, dimensions are, or do you yep. have, you want to know? We got dimensions. So Paul said that the okay, good. There's all kinds of dimensions. We're good there. there. So this is going to be here, and then this line here is. Well, here, this, this, I'm going to break this line right here and then take this line and I should, I, it seems like it will have to be 45 degrees. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take that line and I'm going to scoot it over this way. I'm not really worried about the distortion that's happening right there. That's not important to me. I can just redraw that line again. All right. That is the footprint of what I want to draw. Um, I think I am going to come in here. All right. I want to go to the middle. Here's the center. I'm going to try to keep stuff like measured off the center there as much as I possibly can. All right, so that is the big archway. And then over here, we have, we're going to be using the rectangle tool like a champ. I'm going to grab that space you then. Sh you shouldn't even need it for this onion domes and stuff. Oh, yeah, we'll get into some domes. Have we right. already talked about this? How before mm -hmm. there was a follow me tool, the most the joking feature request that we always talked about in the office was the common people were commonly asking for how to do an onion dome. I mean, it, it was basically just like a just it was a running joke because obviously huh. it was it was not easy to do. I had not heard that. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, follow me. That was the great big thing that it cured was that That's desperate need domes. for an onion dome. Hey. Now I've learned that. All right, so you can see this this arch. So that's the front. That's actually here. Let me do this. Let me get rather than referencing something that's not here. I'm gonna go to edit my watermarks, and I'm gonna add in my front image as a watermark. Put a background. It up above my head. There we go. Actually, all right. I feel trapped. I'm like between <laughs> a video and an image. I know your space. Know where you belong. I belong here. All right. That's that's actually how you look on my screen too. You're just like <laughs> this little. A little Aaron down there at the bottom, and then a big screen, and a little picture up there. Did you put your little scale figure, Aaron? Is that why you're saying that? Oh, no, I didn't even do that yet. I... Ah! It's about there. About yeah, there. There we go. That's where you belong, me. Okay. So, uh, so because this, so this, this is this stacked arch right here, comes through right here. Um, so I want to make each of the four quadrants like a solid piece that will connect to the next, which means I got to take this chunk out of this side. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to rotate. And I should be able to just click here, rotate that 90 degrees, and then cut that out like that. Okay. 
And now come back this way. Go. Get parallel. All right, so this point really just roughen up geometry. Um, so I want to rotate this per perpendicular to this line. So I'm going to click and drag along that line to set it as my axis of rotation. Flip this over like that. There we go. That's in the center there. Actually, I don't know that this line is very well centered, so I'm going to scoot this down just ever so slightly. So it's more, yeah, that looks better. All right, so that right there is my footprint. I'm not going to do the inside. We're just going to do the, the four faces. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff going on on the roof I'm more concerned about than uh, trying to find images of the halls on the inside. I'm going to take all of this now. Ooh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm going to take all of this and make a component. And I will call this quarter of the Taj Mahal. Let's so make a component X right here in the middle. All right. And now I'm going to take that. Oh, oh no, I'll, I'll do that in a sec. Option, copy the whole thing, one time, 3x. All right, so now we have our Taj Mahal footprint. I forgot to add the little towers out here. Um, in fact, I kind of forgot to add this whole section, so I'm going to go ahead and come into one of them. doesn't really matter which. And I'm going to go from the center, come down to here. Cross. Ooh, I, I can actually use my other component. This is nice. This will make sure to keep it square because if I come out the same distance this way, like that, then I know that this is the same all the way around. Uh, my little my little paper representation of me, the sticky stuff's not so good anymore. So it's just kind of sadly sliding down my screen as I go. The warmer <laughs> my computer gets, the further down he slips. Sorry, little guy. Got to upgrade wah. you. This is certainly an interesting take on talking to yourself. It's <laughs> that it is. All right, I'm going to close up this face too because right now it's wide open. If I bring this down here, that closes it. And I'm going to grab a polygon, specifically an eight sided polygon. I'm going to put it right at the corner. Whoops, I didn't hit enter. Eight, enter. There we go. Put it down here, pull it out. Um, you notice it's going the wrong way. So rather than try to like eyeball it like this, if I just hit the modifier key, uh, it'll snap the other direction. Right. Like that. And then I'm going to do a circle in here. I know what I'm slightly... What's that? What modifier key are you hitting there? On Mac, I am hitting the option key. I think the reason I don't call out the actual name is because I'm not 100% on this. I think it's the <laughs> control key on Windows. All right. Okay, so this might be useful. Uh, Uda Pinder said that he is he can see the Taj Mahal from his home's terrace. Do you so, have a telephoto lens to get us some of those details? <laughs> yeah, that'd be handy. What time is it right now there? That's a good question. That is a good question. It might be dark. Oh, sorry to hear about your Marvel team losing, Christopher. That's a drag. As a plus, I think that the Taj Mahal is primarily made of marble. Maybe you got a new team. It's a, it's a, it's a good guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. This is, uh, forget that marble race. This is the mar marble race to be in. That's right. All right. So what that does, so this gives me this, basically, if I fill out, if I build out this, I will get all four sides. Oh, so cool. I love it. I love, I love when a component comes together. Okay. It's midnight in it's midnight in Taj Mahal, Mahal land. It's dark. Taj Mahal well, land. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's not correct. All right. Oh, sorry. So now, um, I want to try to since these are lined up kind of, 
Um, there's a little bit of skew. Some stuff's not quite perfect on here, but uh, we're pretty close. I want to try to leverage this right here and draw up some of the geometry that I know I'm going to use here. Specifically, we have here the height. We have some, we can see this, this uh, comes over and then it steps up. So we can get that profile in there. We can get, here's the main arch and these two smaller arches. We can get those traced in. Um, and then, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get the profile of the domes too. But uh, I want to get some of this. I want to get some of this profile information in here. Uh, so if I bring this straight up, that's not quite on center. So I'm going to I'm going to put a line here. We'll go from right here. We'll we'll pick the top of that, the inside of the big onion dome, and drop that straight on down. And we'll go to there. Now I'm going to grab that line and the image and I'm going to shift it so that it lines up with the center of our components. The reason for that is I want to use this as some reference. So as I bring this over here, like I said, I had to kind of play with some of this stuff. I want to bring this all the way over to this height, that spot right there. And then I can come up like that. I'm assuming these are stairs, but I'm just going to draw them as an angle like that. And then we'll come straight across. We'll drop this right here. And uh, what I, so I've played with this, actually that's not quite where I want it. I want it to go from there straight down. Um, so one thing that's hard with dome shapes is drawing half of them like I'm trying to do right now. Because, let me do this real quick. So if I come in here and I put an arc from here to here, and then I just kind of play with it like that, there's a good chance that this end line, I think if I zoom in here, I can kind of see it. Yeah, so from here, here's straight across. You can see that 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 line just started to tip back down as it came in. So it means basically, it's not, it's not very big, but what would happen is as my arch came over, rather than coming up like that to a point, it would come up and go kind of like this. So it'd end up with like a little bit of a, like a heart arch or something. TM, just a made it up. So what I'm gonna do instead of that is I'm gonna draw a line across here, like that. Um, I'm going to take this space right, shape right here and I'm going to copy it over, flip it to 180 degrees. Here, turn off the x-ray so I can snap to this easier. Is that, uh, that handy thing in your left hand being useful today? Uh, you know, I've ever since the most recent update, it's been very touch and go. Like sometimes it's great, it's it's wonderful, and then sometimes it just gets kind of jerky and jumpy. So I'm not, I don't know if it's a, I don't know what it is, but uh, it's so-so. All right, I'm gonna try throwing an archer along here, an arch, not an archer, but an arch. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come in here when I, when you first come into arch, 12 sides, I'm gonna bump that up to 24. This is kind of a large detail, so I want to get this kind of a little bit smoother. And there we go. And I can get rid of this half. And now over here, we have... Ooh, actually, what I should have done, I should have aligned that line with this Oh yeah, we definitely have so, some scale issues here. Yeah, John said that the this section is a different scale from the plan. Minuets sure. at the perimeter aren't the same. <laughs> it the sure same is. Plan. <laughs> <laughs> you know All right, what? I believe you. That'll only take a few seconds to redo that if I don't if I don't talk so much. Um, let's do this. Let's let's delete that. 
And then uh, here we know that from here, to here was nine or er, 56.9. So I'm going to grab the image and this line. I'm going to make them a group. I'm going to go into that group and I'm going to scale this to 56.9 meters. And that's going to just scale what's inside the group. All right, now I'll get rid of that. And now I can take this and again, here we'll get that center line to line up with. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. The old, old space mouse isn't, isn't. So it took 11 years to build this thing initially. And then there's another 10 years after that where other phases of the project were added. So imagine taking 20 years to build. Oh, how sick of that would you be? I want to be sick of this in like two hours, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm already, oh wait, too soon? Yeah, yeah, that was, jumped the gun on that one. <laughs> All right, so this, this line is right here, so I'm going to trace that line straight up. Uh, let's see, where's my arches? Here's one arch, so I'm going to bring that one up to there, this one up to here, and then this one up here. I think, you know what, since this is a section, I don't think my arches are going to quite line up perfectly. Uh, so I may just use this to create the exteriors and get my interior geometry from the pictures instead. So I'll come up here, get this wall around here, come up here, here, up to here. Here. Man. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Really good, the detail on that picture really in the forum. Of this thing. Yeah. Uh, but seemingly everybody just wants to stand really far away at the end of the reflecting pool and take pictures. That doesn't. That's no good for me. Sorry, you disagree with all the people who actually get to go there. Sounds like sour grapes it, to it, me. It, it could be sour grapes. <laughs> Sour grapes make bitter wine. That's I just made that up, but it sounds like a real like sounds kind of old. Sure, right? that sounds like it could be real. It bitter be winers, wine. more like it. No, <laughs> nice, That's a really good one. All right, so I'm that. gonna <laughs> I'm gonna group this temporarily, uh, and I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna go in here, and I'm going to paste that thing and that thing is going to go okay so here's the thing that happens right when we deal with, when we start dealing with multiple copies of of one component is if they're all together like this you start getting everything draws on top of itself it can get kind of frustrating kind of irritating so that's why we have the ability to come up here to component edit and hide similar components so this is going to leave everything else visible but just hide all the other copies. So that prevents me from that, that thing going on where I'm seeing a whole bunch of other shapes. Um, just keeps it simpler. I'm gonna unplug my mouse and plug it back in and see if that fixes it. All right, that's a little something. All right, I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, it's definitely, ugh. Yeah. Oh. You're right. Yeah, I'm. I feel like when things go slow, I have to push harder, and that's not always the ideal solution. Good way to break things. Odds are good. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna drop this down. Okay. So that is my profile. I'm gonna go ahead and explode that. I'm gonna run a line over like this. Oops. I'm gonna take this line straight up to here. I can take this shape and I can flip it around to here. All 
And then, okay, I think that's the inside. So I'm interested in this shape, I think. I think, I feel like, and I don't have the, uh, the images to back this up, but I'm kind of feeling like this wall goes all the way around, or that's at least what's what the height of this section over here is. So I'm gonna trace this up to, yeah, that same height as that wall. And take that over like that. Well, I'm looking at it in the uh, in the Google Earth, but I can't. Uh, everything's so darn big. You have to stand far away, and then it just messes with the scale. <laughs> All right. Google Earth is not a good resource for this. Yeah, I can see that. All right. I basically need someone standing in the middle of the reflecting pool taking a picture so that we're slightly closer. It's rude that they're not doing that, isn't it? It's probably actually it's probably against uh, yeah. something. Whatever. This is America. They do it. I mean, this is America. If that was in America, yeah. we'd do it. Probably would. All right. So it looks like there's a six foot step between the heights over here. So I'm gonna see what happens if I come down six feet and draw that line across. Yeah, I kind of buy that. I'm just, just playing with the, the geometries I think I have. <laughs> I'm gonna take this line right here now. I am going to copy, not move. I don't wanna move because this is connected to some additional geometry down below. So if I move it, it's gonna start stretching all the stuff I have down here. Um, there we go. And then I wanna run that all the way out to the corner like that. And do that. All right, so that kind of looks like what I think the front of our building looks like. Let's see. Okay, the corner got a little weird here, so I can come in here and can I see where that intersection there's, there's is. A couple, there's a couple for you there. I think, it's, I think that's what we're looking at. All right, is that better? Click out. All right, there we go. So now that looks like the lower part of the exterior. Julie's got me some, oh, we got so many good pictures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. That's gonna work. Um, this, so just to close up this top, we'll come back to these arches in a second. I do have this profile right here, which is kind of nice because I can grab just these three lines, copy those, copy that, and then I can come into one Roger. of these. Command V, so bring those lines in. I do a little rotating here, rotate it nine degrees this way, and then we'll rotate it upwards also, up 90 degrees, and then I can take that and I put that right here. Yep, 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 yep. All right, and then I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna put that in a couple spots, I'm gonna put it there, I'm gonna put it right here, Drop it down here. And then I can kind of just close out that geometry like that. And I also know, I'm just gonna do this as a placeholder right now, that's where my, that ceiling inside the handrail seems to be, handrail, it's like a six foot tall wall, so it's not really less of a handrail, more of a, I don't know what the. It'd be a handrail if you were a giant 
maybe. That's kind of where I was thinking, but. All right, I'm gonna take this, copy it over here so I have the exact same width. Rotate that 90 degrees. There we go, and I can just carry that line through to there. Put a vertical line here, down to here, and then. All right, so that is kind of that piece. Um, so right now, what I want to do is I do want to go toggle this uh, hide similar components because I want to draw these up so that they all meet together. And I also mentioned that I kind of want it would be cool to make this these all solid just because solid's good. So I'm going to do my best to do just that. There's that piece, and then I'm going to take this piece over to whoops. I'm going to take this piece over to there, where the two ledges intersect. And I'll come back and cut off the rest in just a second. I'll do the same thing here. I'll draw a line from here to here. Pull that up. Pull that over. And now, when I go to uh, hide similar components, the rest of that goes away. Now I have a... a a cutting shape basically. I can go in and I can say, okay, cut these pieces off here. Um, ooh, I did, I forgot I wanted to do some things here like this. So I'll take this up to here. I want to cut that out. And then let's see, well, let's see if I go. that mm-hmm same thing here I'll bring this up vertically right back to here here up to here and back over I can take this straight across. Oh, look at that. It lines up right at that same corner. How about that? Ooh, oh, when a plan comes together. Oh, that's something to say about that. Ah, it didn't. Yeah. I lied. Dang it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> zoom back out. Zoom back out. <laughs> oh, it looks so good from where I was standing. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to clean that up. Um, all right. Well, let's, I'm going to click out, see how that closes up. Okay. I got some more, some fun, some fun new pictures. You might not need them yet, though. All right. Gosh, there's a lot of pictures. That's awesome. I like having all this photo reference. It's nice. Um, all right. Uh, what do I do here? I guess I'm just gonna take this over to here. Not quite sure where where this isn't meeting up right. Let me click out of here. All right, just chop it off. That's, so much, uh, my model says so cut it off. So. Yeah, do it. Listen to your model. That's right. I, at the end of the day, of course, this isn't like a uh, not building from this thing. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There we go. Get rid of these, close this up. All right. And I can click right here now and say orient faces will get all my white faces back on the outside. Awesome. All right, so that gets me that piece right there. Okay, so as much as I want to just jump in and work on Onion Dome, let's put some arches in here first. Okay, so Jody put up some awesome much much up closer much up closer yeah yeah uh, yeah more more closer upper yeah uh images of this so i'm gonna go grab one uh actually before i do that here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna drop your new album 
I'm gonna drop a beat. Nah, I don't know how to do that. <sighs> totally lied. Whoa, what's all that underground stuff there? Uh, all... Yeah, so this is so this is the other thing. I'm for right now I'm done with this. This is not lined up perfectly anyhow. I'm just gonna slide it out of the way. And then I'm gonna come look at what I got going on right here. Because so the one thing I don't know if anybody uh, has an image or has been there and could tell me, but on this section, it looked like there's steps up from this flat right here, which makes sense. Do those? Does anybody know? Do those stairs go all the way around? Because that looks like um, I got. That's if what you I look got. At my my reference images, like the last two might give you a little perspective there. Oh, they're tiny. They're so much there's... tinier than I thought they were. Oh yeah, there it is. There's this, there's like, it's raised on a platform and there's just stairs on a couple side on the, where the arches are, maybe? Something about that? Mm -hmm. uh. Uh, you do have an, uh, an affirmative, though, in the in the comments or in the chat. That it does go all the way around, whatever that that, yeah. that uh, break is. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to grab this surface right here, and I am going to move it vertically down to my reference line right here. I'm moving it intentionally right now. I know that's going to stretch out my bottom of my drawing right here. Actually, let's do this. Let's copy it down. That'll be that'll be a bit cleaner way to do this. I'm going to copy it down here. Then I can push pull this down to here. So the reason I, I copied it is by copying it, I can come back now and get rid of this. And what that will do, that, that gives me that as a space. So I, I don't have to figure out exactly what I want to do right this second, but once I have it figured out, I can come in and, and work that, that space out. All right, let's get rid of this little, little chunklet right here. Ah, uh, chunklets. Hey, look at that. You're working in an untitled file. It's almost like you're tempting fate. Oh my gosh. What time is it? 40 minutes in? Oh, man, come on. Yeah, you have a couple of people you're you're making a little anxious in, in the comments there. Well, you guys aren't talking loud enough because I didn't hear anyone say anything until now. Well, I mean, it was this in the last couple of minutes, but then all of a sudden everybody everybody realized. <laughs> oh, you fool! Why would you tempt fate like that? Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Looking good. Looking good. Um. All right. So I was saying, what I think I want to try to do. I'm gonna throw this guy on a new layer called Ref. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there is something happening with my computer's fan is like blowing so loud right now. Is it because it's so hot in your room? I don't think so. You mean turn up the AC? It's Google. I had this problem once before where I was, I was really struggling and stuff wasn't working out well. And I found out afterwards, what did I have loaded? I had something that we just recently tried out loaded. It was the Discord app. Discord. That's right. Discord was, was just swamping me. Uh, so mm. something, yes, yeah, something in uh, Chrome is misbehaving and using my entire CPU right now. So I'm going to... Close a window or two. Yeah, now it's using 240% of my CPU. Ha! 
Now, I, you guys know I'm not the strongest when it comes to math, but how do you use over 100% of something twice? Multiple cores. Mm. Doesn't all the cores still add up to one? I don't know. I don't know how this yeah, works. Yeah, but it likes to think that each of those is a CPU for all intensive mm. purposes. That's one of my favorite ways to completely push people's buttons. Jody's a button pusher. I have heard. All right, she's dropping. She's dropping. So we don't know, but we don't know what it was. I don't. I just closed everything. I don't. It was. It was, it was one of those pull cord moments where it's just like, just get it, just kill it. There you go. Hold on one second. I kill more stuff. Now, I think you might be. All right, so if we're still having issues, Jody, it's you. Oh, good. All right, so we have this. So what I was thinking of doing, apologize for that. Uh, hopefully things will be better now. Uh, what I was thinking of doing is coming in here. Let's see, get to... Come down here to this one, this image, and that right there is a postcard if ever I saw one. I'm gonna save that. Oh, they put it, but it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels like 96 at the Taj Mahal right now. So maybe that's why Hoy. it's running so hot. I could do it. Still seeing lag, but yeah. Google Chrome is still using all of my CPU. Um, all right, so what I was thinking of doing, here's what, here, was, here was my thought. I'm gonna try to import that front image. I am gonna import it as an image right now. And I'm gonna put it right here. Did you, did you say layers? I think he just got called out on that. Did I say? Well, that was a while ago. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. That's I moved fine. past that. It's fine. I, it was... There's a statute of limitations on that kind of thing. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm projecting that. Oh, this is killing me, man. Uh, 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 uh. Oi. Nobody's going to be asking about your dang old 3D space mouse being dang, I know. Smooth. All right, so this was the part, the first part I was wondering about, the proportions here. Um, so I'm kind of thinking what I'll do. Scale this down. This will be approximate, but move that. So it's in the center, which is right here. And then and slide this up. Here's the top of that step up to here. All right, there we go. And I think that's a pretty good spot for us to trace this uh, doorway. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of click there, click there, click up to so I can turn on uh, X-ray too, if that helps. Come up to here. So, and can you, do you like how close to going inside can you actually get as someone visiting that place? Is that like, is it a gigantic building that nobody ever gets to see the inside of, or do you? I've never seen pictures from the inside. I haven't looked. I mean, maybe that's my own fault. Yes. Haven't worked very hard for it, have you? Yeah. All right, there we go. There's that arch. So now... Apparently there is an inside because pictures exist. Let's not model those today. It looks pretty complicated. Yeah, it does. All right, so that arch doesn't quite line up with what we put here. Uh, first off, it's not centered, so let's get it centered first. Grab by the middle. 
Oh, it's just, just off of being centered. It's a little tougher. Right, and then I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna scale it down to about that size. So I'm just gonna go 95. I'm gonna go 95 from this direction too. Right. And with that, oops, I'm gonna push it into that line I already created, and that's our our first arch. Yeah, this this dimension that this this line I pulled, I'm not quite sure where that came from, because it is not where it should be. Something more like that, because uh, it's immediately the problem. The problem I'm seeing here is if I drop this line down. I am still need spot for this arch to fit in. That looks that looks closer to what I got here, so that looks better. Which I actually need to now get that arch in. So let's let me go ahead and drop this line. And I should only have to do this once because I can put those arches on and then I can put them over on the side too. This, by the way, is going to be that step. So that I'm, I'm intentionally leaving my space right now because I'll fill that in with the step and then I can bring that out. So now I got to get these two arches. So if we look, let's go back. And it looks like, uh, you think it's the same? I think it's the same. Like, same they look shape. like they're, yeah, except this one, this one pushes straight back. This one is cut at an angle to allow for this one to go back. So that's why that's the reason for this, this cut like this. But I think the actual fronts of the domes all look like the, the vaults all look like they are the same. So um, let me find. They also look like they're, they're round, they're a round cut, like a round indentation. Oh, on the corner, yeah. No, no, this no. This one looks like, flat. To... If you walk oh. to the back end of it right it's curved is it does that picture really it's really hard to, it's really <laughs> hard to tell yeah it does look like it's a dome on the inside okay hey yeah. we can do that we have the power all right uh well let me let me let me get this first so i'm gonna even though this is not the highest resolution image i'm gonna work off of this because i have a good point of reference here to here so uh yeah we'll get that we'll do that top in a second that's easy um easy is that air? did you hold up air quotes for that i didn't see all things are relative um yeah all right i might have to cut you off and bring you back jody i'm gonna uh, save okay. all right i'm gonna close you down for just one second see if it fixes it Fine. all right now we can talk about jody as much as we want guys Get it off your chest, get it out. Yep, look at that. I got rid of him. It went from 108 to 8% of my CPU. That guy, I tell you. Okay, I'll bring him back. Well, should I? Yeah, no, I should, definitely should. Well, he's gonna watch it elsewhere, so he'll he'll know anyhow, any of this. So that's why Jody's the best coworker I've ever had. Oh, hey. Hey there. I was feeling so lonely. Felt so lonely I could die. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. All right. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Anyhow, back to doing things. Any old way. All right. So I'm going to bring in this image right here. Actually, get rid of the watermark because I'll just pull it in. And let's go grab the front. Let's 
gonna throw it on there like that. Oops. Front. And I don't have to get the, I don't, I'm not really worried about getting this absolutely perfect. I want to get a, this about in the right place to, uh, one, I want to verify just how close we got, but I also, I just want to kind of get a point of reference for these other arches. Right, so that looks, that's pretty darn close. Not bad. Um, let me All right, so All right, so it's about there. So what I got here is Something looks about. I'm gonna get a couple. Whoops, get a couple reference images here. I'm gonna get. Ugh. Man, I'm not sure what's happening here. Uh, have I mentioned that I have a new computer on order? Have I have I said that lately? Or you do have one? I do. Nice. Because uh, finally switching over to Linux. <laughs> that's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Don't be silly. Don't be, don't be ridiculous. All right. So that is what I got, and then here is about where the top of the next one is. All right. That's all I need. I just need that. I can get rid of this. And get rid of this. I can grab all those lines I just created. Command X them. Come in here and paste in place. All right, now let's see, does this, first off, does this fit? No, so close. <laughs> Thought it was gonna work. All right, um, so let me draw arch. That's, I'm gonna take this same arch and bring it over. And then just use scale to scale it to the exact same size. So it's the same arch now. And I'll take this. So what is the smallest component you've ever made? Like, like least significant? Kind of thing. Uh, least significant or just like, it's not really much of a thing. You're just like, I want to save this line segment to make sure I always get it. Yeah, I might have. Well, you, you, you need more than one thing to make it a group or component. Well, yeah, but that could be so line segments, right? I think I have once before copied two lines, like an X for something. That's Yeah, that's got to be the least I've ever used. All right. Do you remember why why you did that? Yeah, I think I was uh, drilling holes in something, and I was printing out whatever it was, uh, and I just did an array. Nice. Something like that. All right, so there are our initial arches. Now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grab this one and this one. I'm going to temporarily make them a group and then I'm going to command C, command V, stick that over there and then I'm going to come over here and re-explode that group. I don't want to keep it as a group but just temporarily. The reason I want it as a group rather than just copying the geometry is because I got to come put it on some totally separate geometry. I don't want to stretch and start whipping geometry around so just grab it by this point, drop it on here and then I can rotate it to flat, and then explode it. 
That didn't look like it got centered, did it? Almost. Huh, I was wondering why they... Why are we not allowed to... Uh... Oh, I grabbed it off. There's another point in here somewhere. Oh no. Why make things difficult? Why do you do that? Here. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's not the center. That's the center. No, it's not. What? All right. I'm going in. Oh, look at that little segment there. Two pieces that my edge was broken. All right. Now we can grab by the true center. There we go. Put that where it goes. Rotate that flat. There we go. That's better. Explode that. Now, this doesn't just push back in. It does this thing right here. Um, so I wonder if I can, can I push that back? Push it back that far. I feel like I want to, here, I'm going to, I'm going to grab all this and make it a new group so that I can come in here and I can go to component edit and hide rest of model. All right, there we go. So now I can just see this part. That'll be, that'll be easier. Huh. Why did it push that far through? Okay. Hmm. A little bit different size there. I see. Okay. So we want to go to there. Want to go to here. Now I can pull this through to here. Oh, you know, I got I can't handle that. I'm going to have to get all this and weld it. I, I exploded my curve there. Probably when I copied and, and uh, everything. Just undo that. Weld. Oh, I must have more than getting some geometry from somewhere else and it's telling me it can't weld it. There we go. Now I'm going to push it back. There we go. Nice and smooth. Now we got something like this happening. And then some kind of onion dome or the, the round thing going on there. That, so here, I'll just finish this off real quick. Grab that. Option copy that up to there. All right, so now I got to figure out uh, these domey deals. Technical architectural term, in case anybody wanted to ask, don't ask. It's true. So how so I do I like, get that? I think those were the, the appropriate usage. Domi deals was like they used that, and then like their manager came along, and they had to they had to like sort of up their game, sound a little smarter. Someone just started stringing Latin <laughs> chunks of words together to make it sound official. All right. So. Let me see if I can find a picture. For Gosh, it's oh, so hard with the, the shadows because it kind of looks like this comes around. This goes in partway and then comes around, but these walls are straight. There's a, this is definitely 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So it's hard to tell how so that a, happens. Oh, here's some different, different lighting. Let's see. Come on, give me a bigger one. I need a bigger one. I think the problem is that these things photograph so well with these just these great straight on views. And so everybody's like, oh, that's amazing. I got to take that picture. Mm -hmm. So this right, one makes a little it. more sense because of the cut, the angles. I can see that kind of getting cut there. But uh, man, Here, check, check. <laughs> look at this. Wait. Oh, OK. 
so it's actually it's actually three sided. So you got thing here, thing here, thing here. This is the top that it gets curvy. We can do it. I think, and you guys, I'm not saying I would lie to you intentionally, but I might lie to you on accident. All right, so I'm going to grab this right here. I'm going to make it a group, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it right here. And well, actually, I'm not I'm going to move it. I'm going to copy it right here, and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. And then I'm going to scale it out to here. It looks like something like that. Would you guys believe that? If I said, I took these three and uh, merge a selection. And then to further the Elysian. Me, huh? Yes, no. I'll hop in the back here and where's that? There he is. Well, looky here. There is a Lego creator expert Taj Mahal building an architecture kit. Basically, everything awesome is been <laughs> legified. Is that is that is that accurate? I, I think that's pretty. I think that's can a we, true statement. Can we talk about? Can we talk about your little secret side project on here? Well, Speaking of Lego. Seems to me that like you're the ranking officer on this ship, Jody, so <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's finally gonna model model his uh do a SketchUp build of his uh of his millennial Vulcan. Do a real world How exciting build. Is that? <laughs> like made out of real physical plastic. That's right. I have been for a long time wanting that that Lego kit, the Millennium Falcon that I modeled in SketchUp, but I was never going to spend nine hundred dollars on it. So yeah, fortunately I was able to find what we've been calling the Millennial Vulcan. It's a Star Worlds ship, so I'm going to be putting that together over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so did the Star Wars Warts kit have a or Star Wart kit so, have a different name? Star Words is the big one, and then they have a smaller Star Warts kit. Yes, that's. <laughs> All right. So I feel good about that. I th I think that I think. I like that. that. Looks, I think that that looks legitimate to me. Okay. Oops. All right. Well, that'll work there. I'm gonna do something different here, except do it three times. But let me tackle the big guy here first. I'll do the same thing. I'll make this into a group just to, to isolate the geometry. And then option rotate it 90 degrees and then shove it back into the wall and then scale that arch across there. Then I can explode both of these, explode, explode. And then grab these three pieces and intersect face with selection. Um, because I do have, this was mostly solid. If I get rid of this, I should be able to use solid tools to do a lot of cleanup here too. Oh, maybe not. You know what's that nice about this particular project is you don't have to scale it up because it's true. It's already ginormous. Like that is very ridiculously true. big. All right, so now I can grab all these surfaces Oops. and option copy them over here and then we have those same vaults over there and now we got to do some over here and we got to do some cleanup um, let's see let's peek in here real quick delete that delete that delete that delete that delete that Okay, Oop. same thing down here, delete that. I'm toggling invisibility on and off because surfaces are easier, S rounded surfaces like that, you wanna delete with invisibility turned off or with uh, hidden lines turned off because you wanna go all the way through or you wanna select the whole curved surface but with lines, 
uh, I don't, or I want to be able to, because I had hidden geometry was my problem. I had to be able to see where this was to grab just the, just the top piece I want to get rid of. All right, at that, I'm going to close this back up again. I just realized this may have been part of my problem earlier. I'll just close it up. That's my section. I have one section where I'm just slightly off. It's killing me, but I'm going to let it go. Let it go. It's an opportunity for me to grow as a designer to have imperfection in my model. Man, you, you must grow a lot. I'm so big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to do the same thing here that I just did on those others, except this will get more of a, it'll get like an octagonal thing. So... Uh, right here, I'm going to, I want to push it through. It's not going to let me push it through. It's going to stop me because I'm hitting an intersection right here. So I'm going to option push through. That's going to create a new surface. So if I create that, there's the rest of that vault. And I can come in here, delete that piece. I over smoothed a little bit there. So get that out like that. And I can do the same, exact same thing I did before. I'm going to grab this, make it into a group. Grab it, option copy right here, rotate that 45 degrees, option copy it to right here, rotate that 45 degrees. Ooh, this one's gonna be cool looking. Move that one to right here, rotate it 40, uh, My, took my my hand off the mouse there. Whoa. Yeah, stuff just got crazy. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool. Like an umbrella kind of look. Um, all right, so I'm going to grab these four, explode them, grab all this geometry, intersect face with selection. Get rid of here, grab this guy here. This is what I was talking about, grabbing a curved surface. So I come here like this. It's only going to delete one segment, even though uh, hidden geometry turned off. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the stuff. And then I can come in here. Well, first, let me go clean up this side. Yep. Get rid of that. 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 It's basically just like the most insane hip roof you've ever seen is really all I'm doing. Yeah, that is just, it looks like a hot mess from, from a behind the scenes. <clears throat> it does. It's, it's not, I'm not saying it's good looking. All right. And with that, the fix me. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Follow me or here. <laughs> Follow me. Where'd that come from? You're right, Solid Inspector. Look at these little guys hanging out, causing problems. Get thee gone. Oh, no. Nah, easy fix. Just kidding. All right. And then we can grab some of that and soften, smooth it rather than... Ooh, too much. Well, maybe not. I don't know how much is too much. All right, down here, I'm thinking that what I'll do is pull, pull this back out like that, get rid of all this extra geometry, and then I can just grab this section right here. Oops, grab all of this. Option copy it down here, delete that. And with that, if we come out now, now we got all of our arches done. That's pretty cool. Um, so we do have this. I'm thinking what I'll do to put the step in there. Let's get rid of some extra geometry here while here. Never too late to clean things up. All right, 
Um, I'm kind of thinking what I'll do is, because this is still a group, so I think what I'll do is I will actually come in here and just real quickly trace the bottom with one in one piece like this. I'm going to go across the doorways because I want, I want that to get closed up. And then there we go. And then I'll push pull that like that. Yes. And then what I can do, let's see, pull this out. I don't know. I might, might be making up this, uh, making up this, making this up a little bit. But on some of those pictures, it looks like I got a step there. All right, so we step out. It's coming along. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't like this. I'm going to draw a line like this, draw a line like this, draw a line like this, and this. Grab that, Command C, then get rid of everything, come in here, edit, paste in place, push that up like that, and there we go. Okay, now I got a nice, nice pretty seam. Oh, on one side. Guess I need to do it on both. All right, Command X, come in here, edit, paste in place, and pull that up. I find it easier to grab a little geometry and copy it around rather than toggling off other geometry, apparently. Okay, that's looking cool. All right, let's put some dome on here. Dome it up. That's right. All right, so only an hour and fifteen minutes in. Get right. so much dome in. It's it's about to get so domey. All right, so I kept. This is the geometry that I hacked off, um, our original model. I chopped this off, and I put it in a group. I set it over here on purpose because I knew I could still use. So, so I didn't actually. You know, that other piece we, we chopped all up because it's putting the walls in and stuff. But I knew I could come in here with this one. And if I put this, the center of that wall, that is the beginning of the profile for my dome. The beginning. Oh. Command S. See that? Two fingers only. Minimal effort. Nice. <laughs> Minimal effort. That's very not Deadpool. That's the, that's the opposite of Deadpool. Whoops. I got this line floating around. Bother me. I got flies or something. Okay. So what is becoming glaringly apparent to me that I did not do is I did not copy, for some reason, the rest of the profile of the Onion Dome. Dang it. Oops. Oopsie. Yeah. All right, but as far as I know, I have on its own special tag <laughs> this piece right here. Oh, got a bad attitude. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in here. Draw a line up, and then I'm going to draw a bezier from here back to here. Like that. That looks like I got, oops, just a line. Just a line, please. that and then looks like i got another bezier here let's 
Something like that. Based on this incredibly blurry imagery, I am nailing it. I'm going to put a circle right here. Get rid of half of it. Another circle up here. Delete that. Yeah, well, looks that like I might have another circle here. A little, a little thin on details. Yeah, yeah, I'm not uh, not swimming in in uh, abundant detail right here, but I'm gonna make it work. Uh, some more bezier. Some of these are so small, I'm not going to bother putting curves on them. Just that, that'll look, that'll look good. I mean, you could, the photo you have up there for this is a lot better for looking at it. That's true. I'm, I'm, I'm like knee deep in modeling a blob right now. <laughs> there. <I> imagine exactly. <laughs> see what perfect. it looks like. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Seriously. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Actual images. Rather than yeah, the, the real images are real good. All right, that was not bad right there. Ah, still small though. Yeah, I think I got the the main geometry's Here. in there. Let me put let me put this one. I think hey, this one zooms in pretty pretty good. If you'll just pardon the dramatic pause, it's because it's got to upload this gigantic file. Thirty-eight forty by I don't know something. A lot of pixels. I mean, like mega pixels. Like, like all the pixels. Pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Here it goes. All right. <laughs> I'm looking for it right now. Oh, it's been that kind of Friday, huh? It's, it looks really tiny. It's not That's the same one I had. Make it bigger. Is that mine? No, it's, no. it's not. Oh. It's the same building. Just, I can. <laughs> That's a good point. Good point. Uh, you, know, you know, here, let me just, let me just, I'm going to totally cheat the system and just message this to you. You can do it that way. Because it's not right. growing. Click that link. All right, let's see here. Ah. See, yeah, I got, I got a lot of that detail in there. That's about right. These are yeah. just the, the, this thing up here. I don't really know. Wait a minute. We got the cap, got a ball, got this thingy, and a little collar. I don't know. This stuff gets weird. I wonder if there's a different, if this is different than the original or something like that, because. <laughs> is this the right Taj Mahal? <laughs> oh, this is the one in in South Dakota. No, but I'm like th this this piece of metal could have been changed over the years, is what I'm saying. <laughs> maybe, maybe. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna screenshot that, and then uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll chop this off right here. What would we call that? If I was gonna search for that thing on the top, what would you call that thing? Lightning rod. Yeah, maybe. No. It sure is. I'm oh, sure it wait. does the job. Oh my goodness. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Did you find a better one? Well, it's a picture of that oh. specifically. Copy image. Stick that image in the forum. All right. Let's hop back over there. There you go. That's the one. Okay. All right. I mean, so. yeah, it could have changed over the years, but also based on the quality of the drawing of that part, there the guy kind of looks looks like the designer was just like, eh, scribble, scribble. We'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> to be framed on site. All right, let's call it. All right, so I'm going to throw an arc right here. Uh, yeah, they call it a finial on the Wikipedia. That sounds like an architectural term Thanks, if ever Transom. I heard one. Andy, Transom, both got this. They both got it. 
Kai nice. also got it. Pointy bit. <laughs> you know, the thing. All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this one as a circle two. Pull that out. Here's a, here's a bit of trivia. Whenever you get, like, you've got a ceiling fan with a little chonky thing at the bottom of the pull chain on it, that's also called a finial. I learned so much on this, these shows. Draw Bezier from that point to, say, that point. I'm going to pull it across like that, and then pull this up like, there we go. All right. Another sphere. Really? Are all these circles really necessary? Really? It just keeps going. Of all the finials I've ever worked on, this is one. This is in the top 17. Easy. Okay, then it looks like this goes up like this. Maybe got another, another circle right here. This looks like it's a 2D section. So I'll add those little grabber bits on later. Um, actually, all this looks like it's 2D. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to that, and then these will be 2D sections put on top. I'm gonna grab that, make that a group. I'm gonna put that right here and then use scale to bring that down to a reasonable size. There we go. Explode it, join it with this, double click that, make that into a group, move that from its center point to here, and then I can flip it up vertical. All right, I don't have to worry about scaling that because it's pulled off the exact same drawing. So I may make a, I might be able to scale a little bit, but I, actually, I want to put it down. I want a little bit more of a lip there. So I'm going to drop it ju just a touch. There we go. And now I got to make this round. So, um, this right now is a group. I'm going to grab, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to draw this here to here. Grab this, Command C. Set that over there. I don't think I'll need it anymore, but just in case, I'll put it over there. And then I can just say Edit, Paste, and Place. That gives me that. I can explode this. And now I'm going to put a circle in. I'm not going to put my circle on the ground down here. I'm actually going to put my circle up straight above the center. So if I put it down here on the ground, uh, when I do my follow me, that means that the follow me geometry that's created is going to connect with the circle that's laying there. By coming up here off the top and putting it up here, then this geometry is just there for reference. I can delete it afterwards. Again, I do want to get some detail in here. So when I come in here to my circle, I'm going to, I'm going to do 48 sides rather than 24. And then I'm going to come up, grab my circle, follow me. Let's see, I, this might be a little too small. I might have to scale this to get my finial detail. Yeah. So that was courteous. Look what it did. It left, it left this piece behind for me. Aw, oh, thanks. Oh, good. You know what I'm going to do? Watch this. I think I'm just going to take this and set it down like five edges, grab my circle, follow me with this guy. There we go. I don't need to have a dozen edges on something. I mean, that's <laughs> this big compared to the Taj Mahal. All right. That gets me that. It's pretty sweet. I'm going to soften this line right here actually i'll just double click see what what all we can soften 
toggle toggle some softness. Yeah, that's the stuff. All right, my major dome is done. Now, here is my question. Yeah, the other domes are very different. Okay, can't use that again. I triple click. <laughs> Bummer. Make that into its own component. Major dome. That's not actually like anything legitimate, me calling it that major dome. All right, uh, let's see here. So what I got now is each of these, qu each quadrant, each section has a octagon on it. Uh, each octagon has an arc or er, er, arch and then a dome on top. So what I think I will do, we know this is pretty much to scale with everything I got so far. So I'm gonna use this as reference. I'm gonna start by drawing one square like that. And then I'm gonna do a line like this. I'm gonna take this line across both ways because that's where the, the foot steps out. I'm gonna draw an arc, see if I can do this with just a regular arch. There we go. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to make that into a component. Um, eighth minor dome piece. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. You guys should know what happens from now on in. Okay, let's go ahead and stand that up. And now what I think I will do is I'll take this one, put it right here. I'm making an octagon, so that means I rotate that 45 degrees. I can take two of those, put that right here, rotate that 90 degrees, and I can take all those pieces. You didn't rotate that 90 degrees, you just did another 45. I mean, cumulative is an idea, I guess. Okay. Do what I do, not what I say. I don't know what the, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna group that. And we are going to grab it from this corner right here. If I have it from that corner, then I know that if I put it right there, That's the right length over. But now I gotta get it the right side off that other side. So what I can do is, let's see, I'll take that line, the middle point. So if I take that piece, rotate it 90 degrees. All right, there we go. Now I can grab all this, shift it this way. here to here there we go all right so that is where that dome should go i'm going to go ahead and take this command x come into any of the quadrants doesn't matter which one well this does i need one of this these two corners and edit paste in place and now if i come out here i'll have all four of them looking sweet all right now i'll come into one of these Delete this, give this some depth, and then I can orient faces, and pull this out. All right, getting there. Cool. Um, uh, 
let's go to view, hide similar components. I'm going to turn off so I can do this. And I can just do this one direction. This is kind of cool. If I go like that and I push pull that up, it's going to cover it on all the other sides too. Cool. All right. That looks good. Um, I'm going to take all of these now. There's no reason for me at this point to keep them. Well, I guess I could keep them separate if I thought I was going to have time to do a whole lot of extra detail on here. I don't think I'm going to get to a whole lot more up here. I'd rather spend time down below. Nah, I'll, I'll just do this. I'll just do this instead. Oops, come into this one. I'll just cut it at the angle like this, and then come around, push, pull that down to the face. Same thing here. Right. It's not joined together, but that should work for right now. Um, and now I need to get Domi. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. Let's go find the center. Like this. And over here we'll do this. And then we will draw a Bezier curve. I could try to do this with regular arcs. Um, I don't know if anybody's wondering that, but it just gives me so much more control with Bezier. All right, so here, this I saw on, on those images that were, were flashing by before is it is like a series of spheres. So I'm going to start here at the Spirit. circle. One, two, three, and delete the sides. I saw it, I logged it for later use. All right, boom. Make that into a new group. Let's Let's get you stood up. All right. And now we need to move that into one of these groups. So I'm going to hit Command X to cut it. Double click to come in here. Double click to come in here. I'm going to draw a line straight across like that. And then when I paste this in, I can put that line right at the center. Rotate it 90 degrees. Golly, that's close for freehanding it. <laughs> Not bad. Um, I'm going to have to go bigger because one of the things I got to keep in mind is I actually want that to go out to about there. Um, the nice thing is because this was created on the flat and made as a group that way, even if I rotate it at 45 or 22.5 degrees like that, when I scale, I'm still in uh, plane like that. So I'm going to go so it just hangs off just a little bit. All right. Draw another circle. This one will be directly above here. 48 sides. Grab that. Follow me with this. Ooh. So you guys might hit this. And, and several of you know this. I've, I've done this before. This is a group right now. So when I go to follow me, it says, oh, can't, can't follow me. It's a group. But what I can do is right click, edit group. And as soon as I go into edit group, I'm still in follow me. And it still knows what my path is, my pre-selected path. So if I click right here, it'll extrude that around the circle, even though that circle is outside of the group. All right, now let me grab all this. Is this magic? A little bit. Yes, yes it is. All right. Ooh, she's coming alive. The, arcs were, the arches were fun, but like, man, once you get those domes on there, 
it's for real. It's, this sudden, is the real deal. All of a sudden, it looks like the Taj Mahal, not it, <laughs> yeah. a random building. Okay. Um, so we got something similar going on here. I'm going to start major geometry first, working our way down. Um, Pull this down to the face, go here, and then I'm going to bring one continuous line all the way up to here. And then what I will do is something like that. Nope, no, that's actually a different profile. I am making some assumptions because I can't, I guess I can't see a whole lot of detail, but some of the, sometimes uh, by the time you do a follow me, that can be enough detail. So up here, what I want to do is I want to get close to the top. So I want to go to like here and then stop because at the top, this has the same geometry, similar geometry that octagon uh, with arches and then a dome on top. So I don't want to go in and try to do actually let's do this. I know this is going to be this is going to, it's just going to be so much fun. <laughs> let's put this up like this. And then draw a bezier in here. Go up like this. And I think I got a series of circles here too. Awesome. Cool. Um, and then I will come back in now and fill this in with an octagon. We'll put an octagon at the center of, of where all this meets. And then uh, just fill the, fill the space between. But we can grab all this together as one group now and bring it over to do the follow me. I'm going to grab it, make it another group. And then I'm going to put a line from here to here. Actually, let's go in context. Put a line like that. That's going to help me to place that. Um, here, I'm going to do this too. Grab these two lines. And I will show you what, why I'm doing that in just one sec. Okay, so this line, this length right here, is the same length as this face plus this little line I just put onto the outside edge. Now, if I grab that, oh, I guess I got a circle there, so I didn't really need to do that. That was, that was extra work for nothing. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Same thing here. Anyway, let's grab this. 27 segments. How'd I do that? <laughs> what? Well, that's, that's that was unusual. Weird. I'm going to cut like this. To slap the keyboard. <laughs> Sides, yes. <laughs> Oops. Edit. Paste in place. All right, so I can grab this, and I can say, follow me. And then again, I have it in a group, so I can, which I want to leave in a group because I'm going to create a octo my octagonal geometry that I don't want to merge with it. So I can say, edit group, click here. Here, no. No, I can still use this. Click there, follow me here. E -he All right, so if this ever happens to y'all, the problem here, the reason this happened was because the face I used wasn't actually a curve. 
um, when you use follow me, even if you follow, so my, my original circle was a circle, it was a single curve. When you follow me, this is not actually a circle. It looks like a circle, but it's actually a series of segments. So in order to use my follow me and get smooth geometry, what I have to do is double click here to get the edges, so it's the face and the edges, go to extensions and use weld. If you're not using weld already, go grab weld off of extension warehouse. Um, there's actually a couple out there. I think there's weld, SU weld, TIG weld. They all do the same thing. They take selected lines and as long as they're connected, join them together. Once I've done that, I now have, see this just continuous line. So now I can actually say, follow me, click here, and I'll get a nice smooth geometry from that. All right. And I want to get rid of just this one line. So I'm just going to select that line and hit soften and smooth. Awesome. Ooh, look at that. It's even more Taj mahal -y than it was before. Okay. Um, octagon. So I'm going to keep this, like I said, I want to keep that as its own geometry. And I'm going to come in here. Unfortunately, I cannot, I'm going to go grab my polygon. I'm going to tell it I want eight sides again. And unfortunately, I can't just hover to the middle because I don't have, uh, it's not a circle right now. Um, but I can infer the geometry because I have this in as uh, lines. I can actually find the, if I look at it straight on like this, I can find the farthest left and farthest right point, draw a line between them, and that'll give me the center. So if I do that correctly, I did not do that correctly. I'm just slightly off. Um, you know, there's actually, do I have that? There is a fine center tool, which I don't think I have installed. That's a shame. That would have made things a lot easier. Sorry about that. <sighs> well, fortunately, here, here's why it's not a huge deal. Um, I can... Let's see, the simplest way is probably just to hide this, use my circle right here, draw a vertical line, and then unhide. That's going to give me a circle right there, or a point right there in the middle of my circle. And I'll come in here, go grab my polygon again. Dave said if you just select the circle edge, find center should just be there. It's not a circle, though. Remember, That's it is what you're just explaining, Dave. It's a it's a custom made curve. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull this out. Um, I do want to be conscious of what way I want my faces in line with the front and side. So I want my 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 lines to basically be parallel to these lines. If I pull it out on the sides like this, you see I get my points are coming out that direction, but that's where I have my modifier key, option, or I believe control. We'll put those at the right direction, and then I will do that. And then I'll pull that up. Do those taper, or is that, nope, pretty straight. Okay, now I can take that. I'll draw a line straight down. Line up like this. You know, it's funny, there was a, uh, maybe it's not funny, there was a thing, interpret it with whatever level of jovialness you see re is appropriate, but there was a, I don't know if anybody else caught this, but there was a forum post going for a long time about arches, and somebody point, posted a link about like the geometry of different kinds of arches. And it was really cool, like all the math that goes into that. Um, really cool. I didn't understand it all because, you know, math and stuff. But uh, it was definitely neat. Like the, the, just the proportions between an arch. Like it's not just a shape like this. The, the height versus the width versus, it was, it was really cool. You're right. That is funny. Thanks. Right? <laughs> I'm being supportive. My wife told me to be more supportive. That's more supportive, You did right? it. You're, you're basically 
you're, you're, I don't know. You're like the jock strap of the show with your support in it. <laughs> if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Amen. All right, so I took one and pushed it all the way through. Get rid of this geometry on the inside. I'll take the next one, double click it. Ah, it's not going to let me. All right, so I'm going to. Oi. Option, push pull to the other side. Option, push pull to the other side. And one more. Was this a long, Option. a long thread or a short thread about the art arch? I'm trying to remember. I don't know if uh, how many. I found other something. People... It's got it's got Dave got some pictures of Dave using calculating an arch on a piece of wood. And then Jim Hammy 42 throws up a, a bunch of crazy equational stuff. That sounds like it's probably it. Crazy equational it's stuff like, sounds about right. It's only like six posts long, so that doesn't sound mm, right. That doesn't sound like it. I remember we were linking, somebody was linking off to some architectural drawings, like old architectural drawings, explaining like the proportions oh. of arches. And it was, it was pretty cool. Golly, no, that was, nope. Oh yeah, Dave Richards caught caught me out. I did. I, I was using regular weld rather than Enerot's auto weld. Oh. All right, um, I'm gonna take all of this now. So what I got is I have all these arches crossing through each other. So I'm just gonna grab all of it. I'm gonna say intersect face with selection because those are the selected pieces. And now I'm just gonna come in here and just kind of just nibble away right through the middle like this. All the way till I get the outside. Same thing here. I could probably do a sweeping selection here and get rid of this quicker, but uh, I don't want to get rid of anything I don't intend to. Right through here, same way, same thing. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. This top's gonna be a little more work to clean up. So rather than dragging sweep selecting like that to erase, I'm just going to pick these faces and delete as I just kind of bore my way through to the other side. Just select, tap, delete until I get I mean, through. It's not stitching. It is something. It still works. It works for me. Um, yeah, there we go. I know. I don't, I don't. I just, you know, I, I was talking to, to my youngest daughter got like an embroidery kit just now. And, you know, we were talking about the idea of just repetitive hand tasks like that. Like, what is it about that? Why is that like, I don't know, comforting? But anyhow, yeah, hand stitching to me is like, oh, nuts. I deleted too much. It's like... um. Like fidget spinners and stuff, right? You just yeah, it's just something. Busy work still still feels it feels less like work. Well, sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a distraction or. I'm really not sure what the what the the reason behind it is, but there's definitely something to that. It's not. I'm. I guess I'm just saying it's not just me. Like, there's decades worth of people making quilts and scarves that are agreeing that just sitting there stitching something together. It's a nice thing. I'm going to grab all this geometry, make it a group, and let Solid Inspector clean up my spare lines. There we go. So I have a little secret for you here. Um, going to the Sketchup Forum and searching forum and then searching for either Arc or Arch. Mm -hmm. Nothing? It's not as gratifying as crocheting. <laughs> it, it, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of results. I can only imagine. Well, we do have a command arc. called arc, so I mean, it would make sense if there is more than a few just right off the bat there. Well, also arc immediately also grabs everything that has arch or archy or arche. Wait, 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 wait. Basically, do, do we have a lot of archy posts on our forum? <laughs> also, there's archy cad or archy cad. Oh, okay. So whoa, I was just saying arch. So anything, anyway, architecture, also pretty popular on our forum. That does make sense. 
Uh, Lawrence Cuthbert is just saying that his daughter crochets and sold a large quilt recently for $700. So, Holy yes, crap. I guess uh, money is a great way to endure monotonous tasks. Well, but if it's, if it's calming while you're doing it, that's just... It's a win-win. Butter. Double win. Double winny. Okay. That's out of here. Um, I'm going to, how did I end up? Where did I leave this? Okay. Get this on here real quick. Draw. I'm assuming this is on Number here three. between two and four times. I, uh, I wonder if there's any symbolism or any meaning in that that shape up there at the top of that. Well, this almost looks like a fleur-de-lis right here. I know, but that's a French thing. It is. That is true. Or a Boy Scout thing. I don't know. <laughs> that's true. Also, also very true. I thought you were going to say also very French. No, no. That's not French. <laughs> not so much. Lay Boy Scouts. I don't know any French, by the way. I should just point out. You know what? It kind of looks like the symbol for the Empire. <laughs> I think that that is only... It's. I think it's 2D. I think all that stuff up top is, is 2D. Just one time? Okay. Yeah. Hey, don't tell me to do less work more than once. All right. Take that. Scale that down till it it's right where it's supposed to keep, I really just need to keep this picture up oh no that's way up higher okay that's just under okay <laughs> All right, so we had that ball. Oh, there's another. There's more to it than that. There's, there's. Uh, I didn't. There's actually a. Uh, let's put a. Call it a circle. Right about here. We'll have that go into the other circle. And then put an arch. Arc. Oh, that's a moon, a moon and a star. That's what's going on up there. Okay. I buy that. I guess I could, I could see that. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to push it this way just a touch. And then I'm going to push it this way the same amount. So I'm just looking at this picture of the close up of that that top finial mm -hmm. you're using finial like it's just a word you say all the time now i just wanted to point that you, out you don't use it man now that it's now that it's in my vocabulary it's not not in my vocabulary nice uh assimilation it's kind of crazy is there's so apparently this picture was taken while they're doing some work up there or something because there's all these little eye hooks screwed into like the the joints between all the bricks there's just a whole mess of little a whole grid of, of little circles up there and marble is just amazing to look at, like <laughs> carved into these shapes. Seriously, I yeah, marble even like taking... yeah, it blows me away. All right, so I got these two as two solid pieces. So my my thought would be to go to my solid tools and join those together. There's a lot of geometry on that bottom piece. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sweet. That's pretty cool. Well, but you know what? If this is flat like that, then uh, it's not exactly true that all four sides are exactly the same. Because this side now looks different from this side. Just saying. Oh, good question. Uh, Lawrence would like to know when you last saved. 
right now. No, just before I just before I did solid tools, I I tend to uh, do that. Um. Okay. So what do we? What is? Where where was it? Two hours in. Um. Let's make this one piece. Let's let's. Uh, I don't know. What? Maybe we can do a little bit of detail. There's just so much. I feel like, oh man, there's just so much detail, like instantly. Oh no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got some more towers. I got a bunch of, a uh, bunch of these little guys. They are, they're just littered across the top. See, I got one at each corner here and here, and then one here and here. So let me get those things on here first before I mess with anything else. Uh, let's, let's, let's check the hot sheets here. Yeah, I see, this is what I was going to do, but I didn't understand how this merged into the rectangular entrance because you can see very so Marconi's saying he, he's got a nice interior onion dome which it looks awesome but I don't get how this smooth geometry meets with give me give me some there we go right here where you can obviously tell this is flat this is flat so I have this is 90 degrees 90 degrees 90 degrees so I don't quite get, I mean, it looks like the tile work makes it, or the marble work makes it look like it is a dome, but I, it's really hard to tell how it all joins together. If it kind of smooths into that, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I like Marconi, don't, I'm not calling you out. What you posted was awesome. Um, oh, he already commented as well. He said, you've got, you're doing this on a much shorter time scale. And you, he, he acknowledged, he said you were doing a great job. So. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> Right. I don't know why he's sucking up, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. So here's some easy detail we can add. So right here, a little ways down, like uh, I mean, it's a couple feet down, we have this thing going across. We could pull that out. That would be a quick and easy detail to add. And then these look like they're they're oct octagonal as well, based on the shadows. So you see a line there, see a line there. Um, those come up. They don't look like they taper either. They look like they're pretty straight with this little uh, bloomy, flowery shape with a uh, two balls on a skewer thing above it. Um, so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to... This will be low res, but it'll be good enough for what I need, which is just a profile of that shape. Um, so one thing I was wondering, if I pulled this line straight out, oops, I don't know what I just did. All right, so if I pull this straight out here, That's where that would fall. That looks like it is mm. too far. Yeah, that's not what that was. Way shorter up there. Okay. That means I get to do what I want. Now let's see what. Uh, It's a good shot of, of right at the base of the parapet. You don't mess with parapets, but. Man. All right, so I'm gonna make this, uh, I'm gonna make this a polygon as well. I'm gonna make it eight sides. So this is going to be a little detail I'm going to add. I'm going to 
make that a group. Maybe a good time to save. Odds are good. Oops. So I'm going to have three of these, one across here, one across here, one over there. Um, back out of here, get rid of that line. Oops. There you go. Where's my delete key? My delete key changed. It went to a different spot on the keyboard. Ah. It didn't really, though. You need a new keyboard. Online. You should get a, a new computer just so you get a better keyboard. <laughs> you know, actually, our IT guy was saying that a lot of people really don't like these. Uh, this new 2019? No, wait, 2017 keyboard? The real yeah. low ones? Yeah, yeah, with the switches, with the scissor switches. Yeah. I am one of those people. I've had to take mine in to the Apple store a couple of times because, like, literally a piece of dust got in there. And all of a sudden, my key didn't like press. Like if I'm just trying to type, it's just all. I'm going to ignore that button. That's not good for me. I eat over my computer a lot. Yeah, well, you would be cursing, cursing your habits quite a bit then. Yeah, like I need to do that anymore. All right. All right. So that was quick and easy detail all the way around. So for this, for this line over here, I, I just used this line, this line, and then I just traced over that line. Um, so it'll look a little bit weird if we were to hide the rest because this would be sticking on its own, but really we're worried about how this is gonna work as a whole. <laughs> Ted's saying his machine types five or six E's almost every time he hits it once. <laughs> mm. Sounds like you're on Jody's team then. All right. I do not like it, Sam. I am. All right. So I made this one foot four. Oh, where's my? Oh, I didn't import it. Okay. These look like they're bigger than that, though. Okay. Um, I'm going to come in here, do another. And I came out, crap, how far did I come out? Six or eight, so I'm gonna go, see how this looks. I'm testing right now. Yeah, that's gonna work. That's gonna work just fine. Like it. And that goes up a couple feet above that railing. Yes, all right. Oops, guess who's got some ungrouped geometry at the bottom? Undo, undo. <laughs> Not me. I'm gonna make this, whoop, no, hold on. Now I got everything selected. Deselect, I'm gonna make just, uh... okay, come on, man, or, come on. There we go. Make that into a component. Uh, this is gonna be called, I'm gonna call this a micro tower. Not that I've been naming anything else but i'm gonna drop that to there and i'm going to set the axis right here what that's going to allow me to do so let's start by pull this up what that's gonna let me do is a couple things one is as I replace, as I put this into all the spots, I can just put it on a corner, on a corner, on a corner, and it'll run different lengths down into the ground, but it'll be totally hidden. Um, but by having that same spot, I don't have to adjust. I don't have to like put it on the ground and then push it down the difference between this height and this height. What I do need to do is I need to get that profile for the, the decoration on top on there. So let's save, file import, one more image. Oh, um, inside the component right now. That's right. All right, draw it quick and delete it before anybody notices. Seems like a good plan to me. 
You'd be surprised how often that is my solution. Actually, you probably would not be surprised how often that is my solution. Oh, I'm doing it right now. Do it. Just do it. Um, there we go. I want to actually get a nice circular shape. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And then a couple of spheres. Circle shape. Circle shape. Eraser. Eraser, eraser, eraser. Yeah, that'll do. All right, grab that, make that into a group, get rid of this reference image, tip this up, grab it from the middle, zoom right in here. And because I drew this as a polygon, it means it does have a center point. So if I go over any of the corners, it'll give me that middle point. And as it's on the middle then, I can do the same thing. I can hit scale and I can scale that way down twice like that. All right, now I'm gonna grab this, command X to cut it, go into the component, edit, paste in place, um, I don't want to use the polygon because it's only going to be four sides. I want a circle. So I'm going to go put a circle right above here. And I can grab this. Follow me. Edit group. Follow me here. Oh, look at that. Okay, and I like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and explode it. That'll join it with this geometry on here. If I hit fix, it should get rid of my extra geometry on the inside. Nice. Okay, that looks awesome. I gotta get a couple more of those in here because I need one here, here, and here. So I'm going to uh, go to my components. I'm going to find my micro tower. And as I drag it in, this is why I put that point right there because all I got to do now is go hover over the corner where I want it. And as I do each of these, it snaps the exact same spot. And oh man, that was easy. That was too easy. This is going much better than last week. Yeah. I just that on record. <laughs> All right, now let's go out to the parking lot and copy some car components. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, every once in a while, you gotta fall so you remember how to get back up again. <laughs> Put that on his shirt. I can't take credit for that. Uh, Bruce Wayne's dad told him that. Well, I, Why do we fall, Bruce? He's dead. That's What's true. What's he going to care? <laughs> really? Too Everybody soon? It gets back up, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to be done. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I was, I just wanted to say, I'm going to save it. I did, I was looking at some of this. And I found a I found a site that had like, I, and I, I same thing. I don't know if it was I don't know if they're tourist images because they were super high resolution. So I'm not sure if like I don't know, cultural preservation or something like that. But got in super close and had like perfectly orthogonal images of some of this stuff. And man, oh, yeah. it was pretty There's cool. So like, many good just, images. And some of the stuff is well, painted just... or tile work, but some of it they actually have like these minor arcs in here that are all cut in and oh man it's just going to the wikipedia page has got all kinds of great close-ups of everything oh look at this 
Yeah, we did not model this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Well, let's just go ahead and jump in there and do that real quick. No, but look at that. Look at that. Look at all these little... And this was this, yeah. this probably falls into what I was talking about, where there's this canon of proportions about the number of arcs at scale that fit inside of other... Oh, it's just it's so cool. There's so much neat... Ge geometry's neat. Well, and we haven't even poked around in the interior, which is every bit as, as mind-blowing as this. Yeah. It really is. It's an amazing, impressive well, structure. So it is, it's considered, I mean, it's a, one of the wonders of the world. And there's only seven of those. Yeah. Well, there's seven when I was born. Well, they're still only calling seven modern yeah. wonders. Yeah, I probably got to die before I make the list, huh? Okay. You just like the seat. All right. Um, I'm going to, I want to see if I can get a solid out of this. Not that I have any intentions of, of what to do with it. I'm not necessarily going to print or anything, but uh, I am curious if I could take this right now as it is and make it into a solid. All of my pieces are still over here as separate components, so I could recreate this if I wanted to. But I want to see if I can come through here and just make all of this one piece. So right now, I have four pieces. This right here is a solid. Each of our quarters... Uh, Let's see how many pieces do we have in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oof, eight. Oh, that should be easy. Well, let's check. Let's let's see how many of these are solid. So, are you solid? You are now. How about you? Solid. 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 Uh. Ooh. Yep, you're right. All right, so just that one. Explode that. Couple internal faces. Nice. You're solid, right? Yep. How about you, buddy? Oh, you are you have a bunch of pieces inside, so let's start with that. So like in that previous one, it always fascinates me. I don't know what it is. Like... So the, you have this component that's connected next to another component, or this chunk next to another one, and then you have pieces of this that overlap onto a different component. It almost feels like it should be on that, but there's just something kind of cool that you don't have to. Yeah, and that's... That one piece that kind of stuck off into space there. Yeah, it's... it's and components are just fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, I suppose that's that's all I'm trying that's to say. That's really it. That's I I got you. I got you. All right. So this is now solid. So I'm gonna start by here. Let's go. Let's we'll back our way out of this. I'm gonna grab all these five, all these eight pieces, and I'm gonna use my solid tools to union those together first. That's one piece. Still solid. This piece up here, solid group. I'm gonna grab these two pieces, union those together. Solid. Solid. Okay. This piece right here, a solid group. So I'm going to grab this one. Let's see. Put that together. And solid. And this one. And so, so you have to go through solid. and do each of these since they're just the same, they're each the same component? Yeah. The way they intersect the other mass is different in each instance, though. So each piece becomes a separate solid chunk. And there's actually a lot of intersection here with these. I was just thinking about we had the chunk that dropped through into the ground, but then each of these octagon octagonal pieces is intersecting with these octagonal pieces. So there's a bit of geometry there. Some of these are going to be a little simpler, though. I'll put a little pinwheel on the top. Aw. Mm. It's nice. Doesn't really go with the rest of the white marble, but way you, you can't see the pinwheel. It doesn't show us a pinwheel, it just shows your cursor. Really? Oh. Yeah. I did not know that. That's You're right. Oh, there there's a pinwheel. Uh -uh. Oh, well I'm out now, so. Alright, I'm gonna union these two together. 
Oops, somebody's not solid. solid what happened? Group? Not a solid group. What? There's a nest. What? It's all this business. Oops. Oh, it's it's, it's in its own. Yeah. It's its I own made nest. That. I made that inside of the thingy. Okay. Okay. Let's try now. Solid. Solid. And together we make super solid. That's not true. That's not really a thing at all. What? It could be. It could be. Submit it as a feature request. <laughs> Can I have a little pop-up that says super solid after every time I merge geometry? <laughs> this is actually one of those times, now that I'm doing this, this probably would have been easier to merge manually. Sometimes that's the case. Um, these guys over here, the way these, the, 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 my micro towers intersected the rest of the building, um, that would have been a lot of intersection and cleaning up to do. This actually would have been one of those times where I probably could have just grabbed this geometry, cut it, come in context, pasted it in, gone inside and deleted the surface and it would have been done. Um, so depending on how competent you feel with that process. So right here's another example. So I have this, this piece down here and this piece right here. They're both solids, but what I think I will do is I will grab all of this geometry, command X to cut it, come in here, edit, paste in place, and really I should be able to actually I could just probably just do this. That gets rid of that interior face, and I could probably just say solid inspector, solid inspector will tell me, yeah, it's good. So I can come and delete these pieces if I want. Oh, it's so close, except for this. This piece is the only one that's caused a problem. Right at the corner. Were for that one, what I said would have been true. <laughs> You're making a liar out of me, little piece of thing. Um, oh, but you know what? This is Not all going to get cut solid. off right here anyhow. Hey, you're ruining my super solid moment. This is not super solid. It's a semi-solid. Is that, is that a thing? Solid-ish? Is that what you're saying? All right, I'm going to pull this across. I'm going to just manually... Am I, am I really going to do this? What if I just delete this? All right, at that point, because that'll go up on the next piece, the rest of those pieces intersect, and you're telling me this is solid. Fix it. Fix it now. All right. Uh, and I can get rid of this. And if I come out here, if I grab these two, I'll probably merge those two together with, uh, with Union but then take that tower, drop it back into the main piece again, and just delete the circle underneath. All right, this is coming together. This is not so bad. I was, I was, uh, let's grab all that, command X, come in here, edit, paste in place. Boom. All right. That's looking awesome. Man, I gotta figure out what's going on with Google Chrome. It is still eating my computer alive. That's actually their tagline. Eating my computer Google alive. Chrome will eat your computer alive. Yep. Man. There we go. I can just, just peek inside there. If I put my head to the side like that leave that piece there we go all right so that quarter I'll verify one last time is it a solid Ooh. okay so we actually do need to explode that and then let's see if that is a solid then I might be able to just dump the four pieces together 
how much clean the only potential cleanup I'd have to do the most of it's pretty easy the seams around the outside I can just erase swipe and and they'll join together the place where this trim comes off that'll be an intersection point where it collides with this um, but I still have a feeling it's going to be quicker to do that than to let union run to join them all together Come on, man. I wonder if this is slower because of your Chrome business. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm looking at my activity monitor over here right now. And SketchUp's going high because it's running solid inspection on the whole model, but Google Chrome's refusing to give up on 116% of my CPU. Because Chrome's an entitled little bugger. All right, so here's what I was thinking, is grabbing these four pieces, making them into a group, going into that group, grabbing these, and it's still gonna take a second, but I'm going to explode them. So the reason it does still take a second to explode geometry is I'm, I'm still basically, even though I didn't do like an intersect or a solid tool, it still has to go out and figure out where, okay, now this, this basically new geometry, two pieces are coming in and they're in the same spot. So it has to go through and figure out where to combine those pieces back together and where, uh, you know, how all that, how all those pieces actually fit together. So even though I'm not doing an intersect or something like that, it does take a second just to explode geometry. Sometimes it's frustrating, but uh, this should only take a minute or so. Dang. And it was, just so you know, when, not, not that I'm blaming you, but I am stating fact. When I shut your window down, it did stop consuming everything for a second there. Just saying. I'll be quieter. Sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's, about, it's, about, it's about volume. <laughs> if you're quieter, <laughs> it'll use less of my CPU. All right. There's there's a GPU for graphics. Do you think they make? I guess they do make audio processors, but I don't feel like that's really a big old resource. Yeah, if, if I wonder if you turned off your camera, if it would make any difference. Well, I mean, I, I can uh, take a hint. <laughs> I was just waiting Brr, for it to like drop. Boom! Just be done exploding the components as soon as you did that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. Guess not. Well, yeah. Well, hey, this is a perfect time for what was the thing we were going to try to remember? Name that show. All right. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> no, we can't talk Since about we that have now. a moment here, we need something better than end of the week so we all get to hang out together and model in SketchUp time. Who's got a good name? Friday. I mean, Friday fun time. Friday fun. SketchUp's Friday fun time. Sure. Does it does it need to be alliterative? I mean, I, I like well, it. I like alliteration. I'm a big fan of it. You guys got anything better than Jody's Friday fun time? I'm sure. I'm sure. Nope. They don't. No. Apparently. <laughs> I won. We, we haven't given them the 10 second delay yet. You're possessive of that title, huh? Oh, Colin wants to do a PSA. What's your PSA, Colin? Um, somebody was asking what my computer is. Uh, I have a 2017 MacBook Pro. How many gig of RAMs do you have? I think it's 32. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just trying to find alliterative comments here, but or suggestions. Well, just to be honest, to, Lawrence, I'm not struggling at all. I'm sitting here relaxing. My computer, on the other hand, I think there's literal sweat. 
computer sweat <laughs> on my you <laughs> computer sweat. No, All but right, man, so I don't. Ted suggests... I don't know if you guys can hear. Wait, maybe let like, that bring us in. Nothing. I hear nothing. No. Well, yeah, because you have the same mic. I was giving them a listen, not you. Um, oh. It's just like it sounds like I have a fan on in here. Ooh. Ted, Ted suggests watch Aaron and drink. I feel like <laughs> the fact that we have a bunch of people uh, who are overseas, and so it's actually nighttime there, that feels a little more doable. Yeah. Right now. I don't know if that would go over well. I can drink. Yeah. We'd... Yeah, here, here in the States. We could call it the SketchUp Happy Hour. Hey, that's Which not necessarily, that... yeah, endorsing anything. Nope. I mean, you can, a happy hour could happen any time, and you don't have to drink. I'm I'm happy sometimes even more than an hour in a day, so I got happy hours That's good. some week, some weeks. <laughs> oh, Ted's in Canada. I didn't realize. I go, okay. All right. Hey, that's cool. So you do your he's thing. He's got normal, he's got American hours. He's, he's American. I mean, he's North American. Yeah. American-ish? American A. A. All right. Um, I'm going to stop this. <laughs> sure hope you saved before you started that. I did. I did. I was saving regularly. Um, and maybe I'll make it a solid when I get my computer back. I don't know what's... You know... I'm definitely noticing now that I got a three-year-old computer that I probably don't take as good a care of as I should, that <laughs> rebooting has a serious impact on the performance of my computer. Anybody else hit that where they get, uh, they get to a certain point where, yeah, they got to re restart their machine every, I don't know. It's almost like you're using a, a Windows computer because oh. that's been the norm for as long as I've used Windows. That is not untrue. Um, let's see, is this all, yeah, so this is all, just before I, I, I made that last effort. Um, no, I'm just noticing, like, I think when I first got this computer, I don't think I turned it off for, like, the first year. Like, I would just close the lid, throw it in my bag at the end of the day or whatever. I don't think I ever restarted it, um, unless, like, I was installing something that required a restart. So, I'm kind of wondering if... Well, maybe I should do that more often. Yeah, Ted's with me. He hasn't restarted his machine in months. So once upon a time, I was, I'll admit, I was a, a little bit of a Linux nerd, and there was this whole thing where people would do all these, they do like a, basically you set up your wallpaper with all kinds of different stats, and one of them was always uptime. Oh, like how long it's been since guess, you turned your computer off? Yeah. <laughs> like on Linux... It's a badge of honor to not be having to reboot your computer. Well, but that's a big thing, right? A lot of server technology came out of Linux, and that's that's what that's all about, right? Yeah. No, I'm just trying. I'm trying to explode half of it and see if my. Whoop! There she goes. Good times. Good so, times. Whenever I'm playing Borderlands on my PS4, as soon as I enter an area with a boss fight, it's just I can I can't hear it. I have to turn up the volume on my TV because the fans are just kicking in. So, so this is my boss fight, you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, if this works, if I can get half of it to to join, then uh, the other half's really pretty easy. No, nah, this. This, this is starting to feel like a video card modeling session. I'm not loving it. Yeah. Kai says he does shut down every night. That's probably what I should do. I started, so you guys, some of you guys know, I, so right now I'm modeling on my laptop, which is what I do most of my SketchUp work on. And I have a second computer over here, which is what's actually doing the streaming. It's also, when I record videos, it actually streams, my HDMI goes into that computer to record. Um, I just found out that this, I, tr I originally was recording on this machine, and I found that, like, even just recording made the fan kick on. So I have, there's a whole, there's probably like six months of skill builders where it starts quiet, and then about halfway in, you start hearing this sound building up. So 
I have found that this machine, my recording machine is like eight years old. I do have to shut that down. Otherwise it's like, even while it's suspended or asleep, that fan runs constantly and it puts out a lot of heat. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably reboot as soon as we're done streaming here. Cause Whoa, oh, hey. Oh, oh my goodness. What's going on here? All right. So now I should be able to come in here, do that, do that. Gosh, even this, so look at the delay when I drag my eraser and then it finally goes away. <laughs> it's just a dramatic pause. <laughs> it's dramatic, all right. Oh, you know what else? Let's, let's go to my styles. Let's. Profiles is a huge, uh, it's rather demanding. With profiles turned on, it has to constantly check and see what geometry overlaps what. And then uh, it, can be, it can be a big user of your geometry. So if you guys are having any struggles with your computer, you might try turning that off. All right, I'm gonna grab these two intersect face with selection. Nice. Come in here, get rid of this, get rid of this. Ugh, yeah. Okay. Now, what I could try to do Should probably be easier is to grab it all. Let's save. And just take all this geometry inside this one group and option rotate it 180 degrees. Man, this sucks. That's so slow. That's probably gonna be quicker than making the component on the outside and exploding it. Just pulling that geometry over. I think that'll be slightly faster. But you know, anybody who's ever had to request a new computer from a company they worked at can know that that's not always an easy thing to do. One of the advantages that I have, well, some would call it a disadvantage to show your computer struggling and chugging along on the middle of a live stream. For me, it's actually documentation. <laughs> anybody comes back and goes, do you really need a computer right now? I can go here. Let me send you a link. <laughs> so I got that going for me. That's handy. Yeah. Yeah. So next time you, uh, you need a new computer, just start streaming to a couple hundred people and you know, see how that goes. All right. Well, at this point, I just want to okay. get a nice looking model to show on the end screen so I can wrap it up. Well, what better way to uh, wrap up a, an exhilarating day than to have us all watch you explode models? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here, I'll we'll put a fake model up. Did uh, you see here? Well, so here we'll get a, a we'll pivot on a different topic because I haven't actually looked at it, but I've seen some stuff after the fact. Like Apple announced a new iMac this week. Didn't they just? Wasn't there the thing? Wasn't that long ago? Was it there? User conference, I don't think, whatever. Well, yeah, if they don't, they don't usually announce hardware at those things. But so I saw some uh, name drop thing, some sort of new. You know how they give all their stuff like some sort of fancy new name for it. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to remember what that name was. Something for their graphics, so I could. So it's still Retina, but now it's also know, Ultra Retina. You look. No, I mean. It's, I know, I know how to find Apple this. is good at naming stuff. Yeah, they're good at creating a like the sense of lust and desire for products. There's one part part of me that doesn't like how obsessed we've become with physical things, and another part of me gets obsessed with physical things. <laughs> it's what am true. I supposed to do? 
I, I just, I think it's interesting that their last two Macs have been out of the box. They're doing something different, but we basically got like a drum, right? That waste can, and then we got a cheese grater. So. Yeah, bless her heart. Interesting. All right. All right. That's enough of that. I'm tired of it. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to wrap this up. I will take this model. I will, I'm going to, after we shut down, I will restart my computer. I will explode it, and I will let you guys know after, when I, I'll post this, a link to 3D Warehouse of this one solid, and I will let you know exactly how long it took to really make the thing. Because uh, this, what's happening, is not normal. <laughs> this is obviously, this is special. This is something beyond. Um, but yeah, but I think we'll call it for now. This is, uh, this is where we needed to get to. And we got to here. That was a cool model. I, I honestly, like the first several times that this was suggested, I was kind of like, no, I don't really, no, 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 don't really want to do that. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of interesting bits in this. There really are. I agree. And I see this is, this is definitely one of those models. Like I said, you could, you could spend some time on detailing this out. There's some cool shapes in here. Um, but hey, that's that is available. So this file will be available to you all. Like I said, I will also post a note about how long it took after restarting, how long it took to actually merge that all. Because really, I mean, it's a big model and exploding. Like I said, there's a lot of intersecting geometry for it to check for, but that should be like maybe 30 seconds a piece. So, um, so that's a big model. And can you imagine if you had opted to model any of the details, like any any finer details anywhere in there? Yeah, I. We, it could have got, got real nuts. So let's see, this, this uh, yeah, so you guys, you guys know, we've, we've done much bigger models than this on our live stream before too. So it's not ridiculous. This is, this is definitely computer issues. Okay. Um, well, that's it, you guys. We're there. That's it. I'm done. Uh, we'll get that up. And uh, thank you. Thank you to whoever uh, last posted recommendation for the Taj Mahal because that was a fun model I appreciate that uh, keep those ideas coming on the forum any of these any of these uh, live stream uh, topics we make because I because I made them if you make a comment in there I get notified so even if it's an older one and you mention it I will get notified anytime you have ideas let us know because uh, this is what we want to do we want to keep keep making cool models we won't be here next week that's another thing that's important. Uh, oh, yeah, it's worth doing. Yeah. So you can come hang out, but we won't be here. So uh, hey. next week, we'll miss you. But two weeks from now, we'll come back with something else to model. Sweet. All right. Well, that's all I got. Thanks right. so much, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you have an awesome week next week. And we'll see you in two weeks. See you guys.